What's up you guys? Today I'm here for another video. This time I'm going to do a quick review on The Little Mermaid 2023 by Ron Marshall, the director of Mary Poppins Returns. Pretty excited. Well, I'm pretty excited for this one, even though I'm not a huge fan of those remakes by Disney, but in this case, because of Halle Berry and the other cast members, they look pretty solid. I mean, Halle's voice is just gorgeous. I'm just here right now at Barnes & Noble. I'm here for a fan event, by the way, we're in all order this. I'm just here at Barnes & Noble looking at the Criterion Collection. Wanna take a look? Yeah, many films I still want to own on Criterion. Oh, we got Bamboozled by Spike Lee, which has blackface. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Barry Linton, that's uh, Stanley Kubrick. Days and Confused, Return Link Later. Eraserhead, that's from David Lynch. Definitely a good one right here, you guys. Yeah. They still have the oh yep, they do. The elephant man. Let's see, uh, any other David Lynch movies? I think the most recent one was Inland Empire. Which is not based on the area where I live, but you know. Let's see. Shelter, that's the Rolling Stones concert. Where a couple people were killed. Uh The Graduate. Love that one. Yeah, there's a lot of great films over here. Punch Truck Love from Adam Sandler. Any more Adam Sandler movies I can find? I don't even know. Let's see. Let me know which other movies you saw. Ooh, Wes Anderson movies. Always wanted to get A Hard Day's Night by The Beatles. Directed by Richard Lester, who directed the the not so good Superman 4, unfortunately. The Incredible Shrieking Man. And close up. Akira Kosawa Seven Samurai. Love that one. Yeah. I'm trying to find the other ones that I own already. Like Wally. Oh, there's Roma. One of my favorites. Romeo and Juliet, which I heard it recently got sued by the by the actors because of because of their nudity scene. Yeah, it's like third. One second fine. Let's see. Uncle Gems. But Am Sandler and has a Dina Menzel in it. Looks like the only Dina Menzel featured movie to be in the Criterion Collection. True stories by the Talking Heads. Yeah, I can't find Wally. -E. Maybe it sold out pretty well. If it is, then I'm happy for Wally. -E. Citizen Kang. I heard this one had problems releasing. I don't know, maybe I should get this copy someday if it's worth it, you know? Yeah, I just had my frappuccino earlier. Yeah, so in other movies, City Lights from Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, Shaft. I like that one. Slacker by Richard Linklater. I haven't seen that one, but I still want to check it out because it's Richard Linklater. Walker. Virgin Suicides. I can't even. Watershed Down. Well, that's a good one. Not that many animated films are here, though. Kind of wish there were a bit more. I guess maybe because of license license reasons, it could be that. Yeah, I don't see Wally here, so. I guess it's sold out because it's sold pretty well. That's my only guess. Alright, I just had fun here, you know. Alright, off to the next scene. Okay, a little update. I found it. It was right here at... Kind of far away from there, over there. You see, it says 30% off. Yeah, that's where it was. Yeah, I paid for 25. This one cost 50 bucks. Wow. Man, I remember getting my copy of Wally. -E. It was such a big deal when I got that movie on, you know, on the Criterion Collection. A Pixar movie in the Criterion Collection. It's just a big deal. I just love that so much. 
hopefully a couple more Pixar films in the collection hopefully sold yeah, at least with their bigger t shirts or up, I can see that in there. But you know what? We'll wait and see, depending on the directors, how they want to release their films. Well, so I just got a Barnes and Noble, and you know what I found? The Iron Giant signature collection on Blu ray on sale. It was $12.99, now discounted to $9. I gotta say, this is the best deal I got for a really good movie. One of my favorites for Brad Bird as well, along with The Incredibles. I'm along with Ratatouille and Incredibles 2. You know, Brad Bird's just one of the best animation directors. Even his live action Mission Impossible movie was pretty good. Man, that Bridge Khalifa scene, I'll never forget. But look, Iron Giant. I still haven't got it yet, surprisingly. Well, I'll just screw it off and get it on sale then. All right, I just got out of BNN, so. Yep, finally here at AMC to see the Little Mermaid remake. Will it be good? Will it be bad? Who knows? I'm just glad to be part of this, you know, this fan event. So, you know, just for the fun of it. All right, it's gonna be at the Dolby this time. I've never been to their Dolby theater before. Only, I usually go to the IMAX one, cause you know, it's the only IMAX location that's with AMC that I can go in. And with this fan event, a free poster, a free badass looking poster. <laughs> I said badass next to the Little Mermaid. That's a little weird. Here's the poster. Here's the other poster. Here's the Iron Giant Blu-ray. You know what? I think I'll have a fun event. So I finally got out to see The Little Mermaid starring Halle Berry. I gotta say, I quite liked it. It's not as good as the 1989 movie. You know, 1989 will always be one of the best in the Disney animation canon, but you know what? I like it. It's pretty harmless. It's, it's well, you know, executed, I would say. Some visuals hit and miss here and there, but you know what? I really do like Halle Berry's performance as Ariel. I think she's just, I don't know, she's just kind of adorable as Ariel. Even when she's silent, yep, she's cute. Everything else, the other actors, Melissa McCarthy, you know, she, she did a great job as Ursula. Like, it's pretty close to Pat Carroll's, I must say. So yeah, the, the, some of the new songs are all right. You know, it's a little bit about Miranda, so can't argue with that. So yeah, it's a good watch. It's a recommendation. And to these people that just don't like it because there's a black actress playing Ariel, yeah. Yeah, you can go every yourself for that. But you know what? It's a good watch. I do recommend it, you know. You know, something for the family. Something for musical fans like myself. You know, Little Mermaid fans. But you know what? As I said, just go watch it. It's just, you know, it's fun. Alright guys, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching and all that. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.